when they when they did the meeting in the in the war room with everybody sitting around participating, somebody suggested Bill. Um, I think it was Bill Graham or somebody else said, "Yo, we should have Randy MC here," and he was like, "Nah, we don't want them guys there." Now, probably because at the time they thought hip hop was a fad. We was going to go out like disco. We was going to die like disco. He was going to go out of style like the slinky and the hula hoop. Like from the, from the, from a broader perspective, it was like, these guys ain't even going to be here in three years. Like they, they, they didn't see no vision or foresight with it. I heard Bill Graham say, and he actually, I think Bill Graham actually called our office. But Bill Graham said, yo, if Randy MC ain't on it, I ain't participating. This is what it's about. Like, that's what I heard. Like, people that was in that room was like, yo, Bill fought to get y'all on there because he saw in us what he saw in the who. And, and Crosby Stills Young and that. He saw that. They, they thought we wasn't important. Oh, this hip hop thing won't be here in a year. So it, thank you to the angel. Rest in peace, Bill Graham. I mean, and then you guys walk on stage, and I, I got to say, I, I went back and watched it, and I'm like, mm. these guys, man, are beyond fearless. To, to not only take that stage, you know, in front right. of all these people, and, and then to come out and, and run, say, you know, there's all these rock acts back here. We had a lot of acts on stage, but this is my house. Right. Okay. And then you come out, and the first words out of your mouth are, I'm the king, I'm of, the king rock. of rock. You know, and the place goes Nuts. Right. No, now there, there was booze. There was a lot. You didn't, you don't hear them on if you go on YouTube right now. There was a lot of booze. It was probably, it was probably like, I'm talking about probably 60, 40, maybe 70, 30% booze. I mean, those are the diehard rock fans that don't understand why these guys are here. They don't even play instruments. You know what I'm saying? But the funny thing that you said that was, um, I guess Bill and all the other rockers saw themselves in us. Because you got to understand something. We had the balls. I had the balls to yell, I'm the king of rock. <laughs> so they was like, do you hear it? We like these guys. If the, at least the rockers say, I'm talking about the Ramones. And this is all true. The Ramones, Lou Reed, um, 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 Bon Jovi. Um, um, who else did we do shows with ZZ Top? All of those cats. If, if, if even if our music wasn't going to be, if we was going to be over as a band in a year, they didn't care. They respected us for having the balls. So to come out screen King of Rock, the worst thing you could do is yell, I'm the King of Rock with turntables and records at Live Aid. 